Yes, ladies and gents, uh, by the end of this video, I'm going to try and make some homemade tafifi using a mold from actual tafifi. <laughs> ladies and gents, it is half term this week, which if you don't know what that means, uh, Mrs. Barry is at work uh, and I have the kids as I work from home. So I'm doing my best to keep them occupied and stuff, but I'm still working. We're still filming. <laughs> and for good reason. What happened yesterday, Phoebes? I'm not going to show the clip I got on my phone because... We won't, we won't go there. Me and Chloe kind of ate like almost uh, all. Almost all. When you say almost all, look, all but one, which I said I need that. Anything to say? <laughs> Yummy. So it got me thinking. Mrs. B's at work. She was a little bit gutted that she missed some. I said, don't worry, because I looked inside. We'll show you in a moment. The actual mold that the tafifis come in is perfect to make our own using some ingredients we tend to have here in the house anyway. Mm-hmm. So are you going to help? I might eat it. Oh, so you're going to help by eating it? Yeah. Great. I've made a giant tafifi before, but this, this is different. This is an emergency one using basic ingredients that you should generally have other than one or two other items, which we'll come on to. And as I say, we'll get the absolutely perfect shape because it is the authentic mold. So before we start, I'm going to preheat my oven for the very first step. My washing machine's going bonkers out there. In a minute, if a washing machine just suddenly blasts through the, from the utility room, that's, that's what it is, all right? Preheating my oven. Just to get it warm, because we're kind of going to make this, I think, inside out. And the other day we did that amazing babka recipe uh, from the Great Barry Bake Off uh, videos I've been doing, which thanks very much for the feedback on that. Been loving doing it, I'll probably do some more. And we took some blanched hazelnuts, so the ones without the skin on, like a load of chickpeas, just scatter them on a tray, and we're going to roast them, okay? I'm not sure if the ones in the tafifi are actually roasted. The oven will go on, we'll get these going, get them nice and lightly golden, and we're halfway there living on a prayer. All right, folks, so while the oven is preheating, look, the tafifi, a lovely sort of almost like UFO inspired thing, and they're extremely addictive, as my kids can confess. So as I say, they come in these uh, holsters, and they've got the actual perforations. If you look at the bottom of it, they've got these like delicate lines. Can you see that? They are in there. So hopefully, if we get this right, it will give us that proper shape. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is when I do most of my videos, obviously, I never really sort of do a dry run. I just go for it, and then you guys, you, know, you can do it way better than me. In fact, the filling as I'll come on to later, I would probably make that even simpler. But it's a four-step thing. It's the greatest invention since the flux capacitor. You've got a caramel bowl, okay? You've got a chocolate disc on top. You've got a nougat filling and a whole hazelnut in the middle, which is what we're roasting any minute now. But let's just slice one open. Right down the middle. Oh, I felt the sound as well. I could see the nut and feel it. There you go. So that is the whole hazelnut in there. You wouldn't think it would fit in there. And you've got that nougat surrounding it the caramel, and then there's the chocolate disc. I really want to eat this now. <laughs> Hark, it is the sound of a preheated oven. So, we're gonna grab the hazelnuts, and as I say, just brown about 10 minutes. Keep your arm and shimmy them a little bit halfway through. Oh yeah. Right, whilst that's in there, we haven't really got too much time to spare, but what we can do is grab some toffees, okay? And make sure they're soft ones, otherwise you will shatter your teeth on them. We need to unpeel all of these. But all in all, folks, there is about 240 grams here of uh, the toffee. So I'll work my way through these. And then we're going to add a few ingredients just to loosen it up a little bit so it doesn't set as hard as it is right now. Boom. So we're going to add some cream and some butter to this and some heat to ultimately make a nice caramel to pour into the molds. But let's check on that hazelnut. Alrighty. That has been just over 10 minutes. And... Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, really need to get some new oven gloves. <laughs> Lovely, gorgeous color on there. I don't even think that they actually roast the hazelnuts normally. So we're taking it up a notch. The hazelnuts are cooling down to one side whilst we work on the caramel and the nougat, which some people call nougat or nugget. Um, so I'll leave that up to you guys to argue out amongst yourselves. Um, but we're not actually gonna uh, do it from scratch. You've seen me do that before. You need like candy thermometers, all that stuff. It's very, very easy to do. It just takes quite a bit of time. So this is kind of like that whole emergency vibe thing that I do from time to time where we can adapt some existing ingredients like we've done with the toffees. That's a little bit of butter going in and also some single cream. Now, as we can see, 
how firm and butch, even with them being softer toffees as well, just by adding the cream will help loosen it up. Obviously the butter will give it some stability, but a teeny bit more flavor too. And it's kind of the same with this. So this is some existing ooh, uh, bars of nougat that I bought from the shop, okay? Doesn't matter that they're pink and white, doesn't matter that they're bonded together because we're gonna warm it and melt it through and ram through that hazelnut nougat with some Nutella. Nice. See how easy that comes out? Yes. I feel like Seal was judging me. <laughs> I just gotta try it myself. That was beyond naughty, oh my gosh. I think I've said this before, Nutella need to bring out a version where there is whole hazelnuts in like that, it'd be amazing. I think other brands do do it. Just like on the Japanese Kit Kat tasting video we did the other day, and my dream Kit Kat was a Biscoff one. Apparently, that's coming out. All right, so my gut feeling is to do the caramel first. So we're gonna melt the butter, we're gonna get the cream over the toffees to soften it, it'll be a little bit rigid at first, but just let that heat break it down and we should be left with a nice caramel. You see that in there, brilliant. Oh wow, that's happened really quick. I was expecting that to take way longer. Well, I think this is going all right so far. Okie kokey, that is now super smooth. All the toffees melted through, so I am taking that right off the heat because, I mean, like I say, that will just literally melt the mold. Look at that. But that's also brought me time to focus on this one. But again, we really wanna keep mixing this as it warms through and just ultimately just dye it really. Cause that's what's gonna hold the hazelnut in place. <laughs> In fact, I think I'll add just a smidgen of cream as well, just again from the toffees, just to help loosen it as well a little bit. Why don't you guys get outside, get some fresh air? We are going Oh, you're going to get that soon, don't you worry about me. We'll do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it's quite a miserable day and the kids aren't normally like that. They are quite outdoorsy. In fact, they actually live in the garden. It's all a lie. Yeah, me and Mrs. B live here. All right, so there's a couple of little traces of it there, but I don't mind because it will solidify up anyway and getting it off the heat now. Well, I did get a bowl out to put that in there, but it's kind of fine as it is. I've now got the decision of whether to roll the hazelnuts in that Nutella mixture uh, and then put it in the caramel cups or pour the caramel cups and surround it all and let it just flow naturally. I generally don't know what to do. So whilst it's cooling down, that caramel is still piping hot. I'm gonna have a little think. It's been about 10 minutes and this caramel is not getting any cooler. There was like steam coming off it just a moment ago. So I've transferred it to a bowl. I'm gonna put this into my garage, the coldest part of the house with some uh, cling film on it so that spiders don't get in. But what I'm also gonna do is just take a little trickle like that and put it in my fridge to firm it up to see if it can create that bucket thing that we're after. Because if that does work, We'll go for that method, kind of like the melted chocolate, we pour it in. All right, folks, executive decision. I have got the hazelnuts ready. They've been very, very patient, but the caramel is still warm. My sample in the fridge is looking good, but the main bulk of it is still too warm. But this bit, our Nutella nougat that we mixed, that's actually got a nice sort of firmy, chewy grip to it now. So we can wrap these hazelnuts in that to encase it. All right, now I'm thinking I'm gonna to need to do this uh, with my hands. I can oil them, wash them, all that sort of stuff. But what I think I'll try first of all is just getting two tea. <laughs> ah, see the hazelnut there? I'm gonna just try and grab it. Oh wow, this is, this, is, this is really not working. I wanted to try and do it a bit cleaner. Oh, here we go. And I can try and wrap that hazelnut into <laughs> our Nutella nougat. <laughs> it will be a lot easier with very lightly oiled hands. You can roll it into a ball. But if we wanted to just do it without using our hands, that is how we'll do it. And we would drop that into the center of the caramel bucket. I'll just show you the other way, okay? So I'm just lightly oiling my fingertips, scooping down into that pan. Oh, that's much easier. And you just grab a hazelnut, push it in there, seal it together. And then that might be slightly too big. Yeah, that's too big. They can just pluck 
a little bit off. Ta-da! I got my middles ready and I had to trim them down a little bit because there is not much space in there, but boom, look at that. That is gonna be our outer camera bucket. I've chilled it and it's holding, but there's still a bit of softness there. Mwah! Now what the heck do we do? <laughs> Okay, so there is my mold, and I'm gonna stick with this spray oil a minute, because, um, well, it's not meant to be a mold, is it? <laughs> I quite like that it's in the box still as well. I only need to get a smidgen in there, because I'm hoping the, oh, that's way too much. Oh, gosh. We would then push this in. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's nearly there, do you see that? Can I just get a bit more on top? Have we done it? It's just a little too high, that one, because we need to buy it in. I tell you what, for a first go, that's not too bad. I need to make those fillings a little bit smaller and a little bit less caramel. Maybe if I tap it down. So I'm basically gonna be doing that again 11 more times. There we go, like that is enough. About a quarter of a teaspoon, yes. This is a smaller one. And I'll just push it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yes, because that will still have the bottom bit there. I think we've nailed that. This might take a while. Ooh, this is really, the, the cooler it gets, it starts to become really tricky to do it. <laughs> this is bonkers. Folks, don't do this. It's actually <laughs> really tricky to do, but from afar, I'm really happy with that. I tidied up that massive one I first did with a toothpick and I don't know if it's gonna come out. I'm so glad that I greased it. I don't know if that's gonna help still, but I've got some dark chocolate melted so we can put it in the fridge to firm up properly and hopefully it'll pop out. If we get one, that's for Mrs. B, all right? Not for you guys, eating your soup. <laughs> the caramel bowl we've made and, yes, <laughs> my phone just vibrated. I'm about to do the most intricate part of this video and a delivery arrives. It's probably a kitchen gadget. Where were we? We were putting chocolate, melted chocolate, into a syringe. Uh, just to try and get, because it's got that lovely sort of puddly coin in the middle of it. And if I just push it on evenly like that, very carefully. Oh, this is working rather well. All right, that is what I'm going to be doing. Syringing chocolate onto a caramel bowl. How's your day? To let it settle. Do you think Mummy's going to like that or not? They actually look pretty good, don't they? I'm gonna set them for hours. Never again. Go for that middle one, because that looks quite neat. Did see that one? Yeah, push that. <gasps> Did you see that? <gasps> it's got the lines on it. <gasps> that's, Barbie! That's what we want! That's what I'm talking about. It was from from two. Yes! But we're not gonna eat it yet. Mummy's back from work. In, in two hours. Two hours. So I'll put them back in the fridge, in the box, um, and we'll pretend that we've replaced the Tafifis for her. Do you think she'll fall for it? No word of a lie, as I put them back in the fridge, that was actually harder to make. <laughs> Even though I made the caramel completely from scratch last time, when I did the giant one. I really hope she likes them. Mrs. B is back from work. Hello, Mrs. B, how was your day? Hello, it was good, Tell people you. about your day for data protection. <laughs> 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 I need to get you some Tafifis. Yes. I'll be back. Okay. So Fifi. Ah, you bought me another box. Yes. Ah, you made me a box. I did. Could ah. you tell? How could you tell? <laughs> they weren't sealed, but they are in a packaging. Yeah. And they're, and they're bit... not all identical, but they're unique in their yeah. own way. Yeah. Just like you, Chloe. Hello. Mmm. Oh wow. There's layers. Yeah. Mm. It feels fresher, right? They're very good. Well done. I think roasting the hazelnut has made it a little stronger. Mm. They don't normally roast it, but I never want to do that again. I think oh. like a pound for a box. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Thank you. Oh, are we... Are we, we are, <laughs> we're, we're gangsters, are we? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe guys, uh, check out the rest of the videos on the channel, have a bath on, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. And, yes, <laughs> my phone just vibrated.
Uh, it turns out it's a TV stand. I know some of you guys like the behind the scenes stuff like that. And uh, uh, actually this TV stand I got to build, maybe I'll do it later, had this most amazing review from a guy. In 15 years of DIY, I've never built something so pathetic in all my life. It looks amazing, but the instructions were atrocious. Oh gosh. <laughs> I thought this was tricky.